My name is Spencer Martin. I am the Director of Athletic Bands at the University of Idaho in Moscow. I am also here with the help of Vader Percussion. And today we're going to talk a little bit about double stroke rolls. And there are many different ways to teach double stroke rolls and, and they're all excellent. This is just yet another way that maybe it will help you and you can add to your toolbox of teaching. Speaking of stroke qualities, there is a stroke that really helps in helping especially young students learn both buzz rolls and double stroke rolls. And it's called the crush stroke. And the crush stroke is a stroke where basically if you imagine there was a magnet that was pushing your sticks or pulling your sticks down into the drum. Or you could even think if it was like some kind of a stickum surface that the sticks are always stuck to the head. That's where they start and stop. And when you push down, that's when they're at rest. It is not a buzz stroke. It is not buzzing. It is not a particularly good sounding stroke. It is best used on a practice pad. But this is what a crush stroke is. And one of the things with the crush stroke is that when the stick is off the, the uh, drum or the pad, it is resting on your palm. When you're pushing down for a crush stroke, it is barely off your palm and it is resting on your fingers. I'm not opening up my hands. I'm not using my fingers whatsoever. It is all wrist, but holding it loosely enough, when you push down for a crush, it just pops off of your palm just a little bit. So this is called a crush stroke. If I play them alternating, it sounds like this. My hands are not tight. They're just, I guess you could say they're closed. I have, again, my hand position. The T1 gap is closed. Thumb is on the side. We've talked about that in other videos. Crush stroke. If I was to loosen up my hands, even though they're not tight, if I was to loosen up my hands, say approximately 25%, you would start to get a multiple bounce or a buzz roll. And I'm not attempting to make it sound particularly even or great. Again, this is more of an exercise so I know consciously what my hands are supposed to feel like. So it's the exact same hand position I had with the crush stroke. I've just loosened up my hands maybe 20, 25% and starts to multiple bounce. Here's the crush. Here's the multiple bounce. If I loosen up my hands approximately 10 to 15% more, and if I lift the tips of the drumsticks up, I'm not going to lift this way. I'm going to lift this way. It'll turn into a double stroke roll. So here's crush stroke. Loosen up 20, 25%. Just basically loosen up. Starts to multiple bounce. If I loosen up a tiny bit more and lift the tips of the sticks, I'm playing a double stroke roll. The hand shape feels almost identical to the crush stroke. Back to multiple bounce, back to crush. Multiple bounce, double stroke. And this is particularly useful for faster double strokes. Obviously, slower double strokes, it's a different type of mechanism. Thank you.